My favorite American poet, Walt Whitman, wrote, for every atom belonging to me is good belongs to you. And that's always stuck with me all my life. And one of the great gifts I found with the romantic poets was the love for nature, but the sense that nature holds a mystery that if we but listen will transform everything we think about in terms of how we view the world. And maybe it's time, not for everybody, but for those that can or care, to say, can I be more romantic with the world? Can I imbibe maybe the sense that the atoms of this tree, of this garden, are my atoms as well? There's no separation. It's just the allowing for me to be an observer and to be a participant. And I really strongly have found that this is what is missing oftentimes, which is the element of beauty. Ideas can be true, but they're harsh. The mathematics of consciousness might be so, but where's the romance? Where's the love? And I think there's a silence for those who love deeply, because we are not given, we must choose to take time and to say that if I'm in a situation that honors the impossible wonder of being alive, of being given this gift of being in a body, and I allow it to be more of a romantic adventure, and I don't mean a type of false sentimentalism, I mean the, the fury of standing out in a storm and feeling the vitality with your body of what that means, and that we're part of it, that we're not uh, separate from it, we're actually part of it. Like I'm part of this garden. I feel myself as I am not the tree, I'm me. But the tree says, we're still together. And that's what my atoms say. When I realize that every atom belonging to me is good belongs to this tree. It's good belongs to the grass I'm standing on, the sky I'm looking at. So I'm not really alone. I just have to honor the energy that allows me to remember that I'm not alone. And that's why I'm in the garden again, because I feel this sense that the garden itself is a great mentor. It says, I take you into timelessness. I take you into a place of wonder. And if you allow me, I will help deal with the stress you're feeling, the anxiety you're feeling, because everyone is feeling this stress. Everyone is feeling anxiety in one level or another. But the tools, the possibilities, are actually this story that beauty brings, that wonder brings to us, that reminds us that we are miraculous beings, that we are qualities of the divine in the story of a greater divine truth, that the wonder of things can never be reduced to a formula, the wonder of our experience can never be lost in the mathematics that no longer regard the human. The human heart has struggled always the human soul has cried out across the ages with great sorrow and great passion, why does it hurt so much? And the garden responds and says, maybe I can't make the hurt go away, but like a lover, like a beloved, I can hold you for a while and remind you that just like me, every atom belonging to me is good belongs to you.